Yo, what's good? It's Young Intellect. Yo, so in this video, I want to talk about the lack of role models that's out here in the world. And this is a subject that I can literally spend a whole fucking day on, but I'm not. I'm going to kind of make this short um, because I want to speak on another issue as well in another video that I'm getting ready to post after this one. So, um, role models. What happened to good role models? Because I guess you can say they're always going to be role models just depending on what kind of role they're playing and, you know, what type of role model they are. Because literally you can model yourself after anybody. You can model yourself after the worst person and you can model yourself after positive people. But, of course, I'm talking about good role models. You know what I'm saying? People that is making the future look brighter for the kids than other people. Giving kids hope and, you know, giving them something to look forward to. You know, something to prosper and something to be hopeful about. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of people like that. And first of all, what we have to understand is the first role model that we're going to have in our lives is our fathers. So so if our fathers is just not there, it's going to be difficult. Well, what, the first thing we're going to do is find somebody else to be that role model. Young boys going to do it. They're going to find that role model in probably one of their friends or probably in rap music or movies or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And for young females, they're going to find that into... They're going to probably get with a man and call him daddy. You know what I'm saying? For not having a real father. You know what I'm saying? Confide in just a regular person for the things that they should have had that they didn't have. So these are things that fathers, first of all, have to think about. Is the fact that somebody else is going to be the role model to your kids. Like a lot of dudes don't even give a shit... They don't think about it like that, but y'all really should because you should want to see the product of yourself be something as good as you or better than you. In most cases, better than you. You know what I'm saying? My phone about to die, but I'm, I'm going to make this. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's really, it's really, it's really at a point now in the world where it's looking like this is probably the worst time ever for kids growing up looking up to who they looking up to because let's say for rap for instance man rappers nowadays are the worst kind of niggas to look up to these dudes are not men these dudes are not responsible respectable men that you can really respect people of older ages they can see that but these kids they're not gonna see that they're gonna see all of the the, the, the fancy bullshit that means nothing and they're gonna like that they're gonna be inspired to be about that you know what i'm saying when that's not what they need to be about that's actually distracting them from who they really need to be you know um and it's it's really causing us to not have good futures not believe in the future First of all, because it's like, well, shit. This nigga is doing that. He went to jail. This nigga did that. He's making money. And, you know, even though these ways of doing these things, making money and things might be destructive, these kids are not going to see it like that because they don't have structure. And that's what you get from having a good role model is how to structure yourself and structure life and with things that you do in life. But when you don't have the role model, how do you figure this thing out? It's very difficult. If if they ever figure this shit out at all, it's very it's gonna be very difficult because a lot of them don't. You know what I'm saying? And while a lot of the adults turn their backs and say, you know, I'm doing me, then y'all can't talk shit about these fucking degenerate kids coming up because some of y'all created them, and for the rest, y'all just turn your backs away and say, let them be. You know what I mean? I know this shit, shit can get very stressing and tiring talking about our problems as black people in the world. But to me, this is worth talking about. And this is where it starts. At. It starts 
at who you look up to as a kid. Who do you have in your life as a kid that's staring you and directing you and showing you how to live life and the do's and don'ts in life? Did you have this? If you don't have this, you're going to be misguided and just miss, miss. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be lost out here. A lot of things out here is going to be something that you don't know what to do with. You know what I'm saying? You come across a little bit of money. You don't know how to budget money. You don't know how to manage money. You don't know how to save and, you know, deal with money. So you mismanage that. You lose that. You know what I'm saying? If you had anything in your name, you fuck around and lose everything because you ain't really, really learn how to really maintain your stuff because like I said these are things you get structure when you have good role models to put it out there for you everybody that you see didn't get to the point of greatness by themselves they had people that structured them and direct them into the, the direction they need to go I'm telling you this is a fact this is what we do to fellow human beings this is needed you know what I'm saying it's needed for these kids they have to, they got to have this. If they don't have this, it's going to be a very difficult way for them to see a good future. For a lot of them, they don't even believe in a future. Because it's like not possible. They're not seeing anything outside of being lost. Which is what happens when they have no role models. What the fuck are we doing as adults? A lot of these adults nowadays act just like young niggas. A lot of these grown-ass men, they come off just like these young boys, man. A lot of these grown-ass women, they dressing just like these young chicks. You know, they talking like they're young. They acting young. You know what I'm saying? They fooling people to make them think they're young and all that just because they want to live immature and do young, dumbass, immature shit. Who is y'all to look up to? And kids are looking up to y'all. But who are y'all to look up to? Y'all are horrible examples of anything to look up to. But you have kids looking up because they don't have nothing else. There's not great role models. There's no Malcolm X. People don't believe in Farrakhan. And, you know, there's no Martin Luther King. There's, there's none of these strong black figures that we grew up learning about that really are currently existing. These people are just like damn near a myth to a lot of us because we don't see this shit in real life. We don't see it on an everyday basis. And it's terrible because we should be displaying good role model in ourselves. Whether it's your kids or somebody else's kids. We need role models, man. Let's step it up, man. You gotta be a role model. That's why you have to be real. A role I want to be a, instead of a role model, I want to be a real model. Because a role is a role. You know what I'm saying? If I always play like I'm so goody goody, then somebody see me doing something bad that every human being has to go through. They're going to go, wait a minute. He ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll let him down. But if I be me, I can never let anybody down. Because yeah. I'm going to have to be me. That's true. But you say, in the, you say that um, kind of like do as I say, not as I do. Because you have a message and you want people to listen, hear that message, but not necessarily to emulate. Right. I don't want anybody to follow me whatsoever. I don't want an army. What I want you to do is to listen. And I'm telling you, in my album, in the movie, um, in this interview, hopefully I show people mistakes I made, and then they don't have to make that same mistake. About me being real and telling you exactly what I did and not glorifying it or making it look better, then they'll see it for exactly what it was. Okay. It's an experience.